Who's there? Telegram. I ain't dressed. Slip it under the door. Yes, sir. Will there be a reply? Damn right! <laughs> Willie! Good shooting there, Willie. You sure killed that door. Yeah, I'd feel stupid, too, if I'd empty my gun like that. But don't you try any tricks now, hmm? What are you waiting for, your fee? Mm-mm. And get the hell out of here. Sure. Sorry, Willie. Even the best plan lays will go astray. You're a real card, pretty boy. Your hat spells Texas. What are you doing this far, West? Looking for you? Like it says in the wire. Yeah, just what I thunk. You're all alike, you headhunters. Sneaky, two yellers stand face a real gun. But finish it, go on, shoot me. Then go ahead and collect your filthy, rotten reward. Save your breath, Willie. I don't like to kill unless I have to. Now get your clothes on and let's go. You'll get a fair trial in Dallas. They'll find you guilty, of course, and no doubt you'll hang. But you'll have your day in court. Like hell! What's going on, Mama? Go back to bed. Didn't you hear? I said go to bed. No, I want to know what's going on. This fellow's upstairs. Take him to the sheriff over in Prescott tomorrow. He's worth a thousand dollars. Well, that reward belongs to you. I didn't do nothing to earn it. <laughs> Neither did I. Take it, Lucas, if the gentleman says so. We need it. All right, Maud. Uh, thank you, sir. night. Listen, sir, if you're doing us such a big kindness, I'd sort of like to thank you by name. They call me Arizona. Easy there, friend. Who are you? It's a fine way to thank me for having saved your hide. It's too bad you did, fella. Because them two slingers worked for Styles. Styles? Yeah, Austin Styles. Just about owns this whole county. At least he will when he's through murdering all the small landowners who won't sell out. Like me. <laughs> if only somebody could warn the government. Won't do you any good now, old man.
What happened, Antonio? You have returned too late, my child. It is this way everywhere now. The whole Comte is in ruins. And my father? He was powerless to resist, and then could not live with the humiliation of having to give up all he had worked a lifetime for. Here, this is for you. Your father knew how it was going to end. The night before he made his suicide, he handed that over to me and he told me, keep it safe. My son will know how to use it. Hey, you. This here is private property. Can't you read? Yeah, a little. The Stiles' property is inside the fence, isn't it? Wrong, friend. He owns this land, the fence, and the land you're sitting on, and he don't like snoopers coming around. And if you're smart, you'll also stay out of Kobe. Mr. Stiles don't like nosy parkers there, neither. Which way is it, Kobe? Down there. Thanks. I got a feeling I'm going to like the town of Kobe. Time to go and break your leg, Shiloh. I'll have to leave you here. I'm sorry. Do boy have your mount for breakfast? <laughs> hey, I asked you a question, boy. Well, here's another question. You know you're a pain in the butt. Oh, you think so, eh? Yeah, it's exactly what I think. <laughs> in the way of someone's bronco? I said it was a punch. Uh, how wonderful. Huh? Take it easy. All I meant was, how wonderful it'd be to have that fellow as a partner. Give it here. Hey, what the heck you trailing for there, Charlie? Afraid you're gonna lose a couple of teeth? Got a dirty conscience, huh? You know, if you'd serve my wish, you should have this hogwash here. All your troubles would be over with, huh? <laughs> Go get me one of your dirty glasses and let's see if I can poison myself. Oh, congratulations, young fella. Would you like me to flop down here and join you for a drink? I have to be on you, of course. Okay. Sit down. Oh, thanks. I'll buy you a drink, but I want some information in exchange. 
What do you want to know? Who is Styles? Whoa, well, before I get on to that subject, I'll need to have some disinfectant. One drink and that's it, Duffy. I'm saying it for your own good. <laughs> keeps an eye on you, huh? Yeah, we're all friends. In fact, Charlie here is so doggone friendly, keeps an eye on everyone, right, Charlie boy? <laughs> he's a friend of Styles, too. All right, now tell me. Just who is Styles? Well, he's everything. He owns a whole town pretty near. Well, uh, you think he might have some work for me then? <laughs> you know how to use a hip iron, you two? <laughs> well, those who said I couldn't can't say it anymore. They've lost their voices. You understand? <laughs> you do carry on. <laughs> Well, I doubt Styles have any kind of work for you right now in any case. He's getting hitched in a few days. He's too concerned about his bride and the wedding to even look at you. What sort of a bride is she? There's something she's the sun and the moon. Come on now, Duffy. Styles don't like his fiancée being talked about. Even if they speak highly of her? You don't know Styles, mister. No, I haven't had the chance yet. Sounds like you're about to get your chance. That there Styles coming now. They always welcome him like this? No, on the contrary. That's our man's calling card. Let's hear an answer. It was me. You alone? Yeah, that's right. No one helped me. I don't need any help to cut three cords. Why did you do it? <sighs> it was a mistake. See, where I come from, there's a game we play to catch a woman. The father ties her to a horse's tail, and whoever is first to cut the rope has got himself a wife. Well, here we play the game with horse thieves and also with those who poke their big nose into other people's business. Well, I'm surprised. Because where I come from, thieves normally get a fair trial. Of course, each town has its own traditions. And here, well, it's obvious we're in your town. Because it is your town, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is my town. Al. I'm right here, Mr. Stiles. Get rid of him. Well, friend, how'd you like to do a little running behind my mount? Careful with that rope. You don't want to trip on it now. <laughs> hey, fight! Fight! <laughs> do it, boy! <clears throat> now! Oh, that's it! <laughs> Hit him in the teeth! <laughs> Styles. Here's to you, Mr. Styles. 
What do you want? Why did you come here to Kobe? No particular reason. I'm looking for a job. There are no jobs here in Kobe, not for your kind. I think there is. Seeing the kind of fun you folks like. Get out of Kobe. Get out of here. I don't want troublemakers in my town. I think I'll stay on a while, Mr. Stiles. I don't figure that um, any of your crew are man enough to make me leave town. I never met anyone who could make me do what I didn't want to do. Or anyone who could uh, knock me down with one punch. Like to try it with me? Yeah, I'd like to. <laughs> Hold on a moment. I, uh... I think we ought to make a bet on it. Uh, let's see now, Mr. Stiles. If you manage to knock me down, you win my saddle, which is lying outside. However, if you don't, you give me your horse. I had to shoot mine. <laughs> okay, right here. Hard now, eh? Okay. Now I have a horse. Revolver. All right, take my horse. Put your saddle on him and hit the trail. Because if you're here when I come in tomorrow morning, I swear I'm going to kill you with my bare hands. My last warning. <laughs> Like I told you, your men aren't worth a damn. Ten dollars. Charlie, make sure he gets a decent funeral. He's shooting, boy. You were right, you old fox. She sure is a looker. Hold on. Look, whatever you're thinking, you better forget it right now. I like her. I like everything that belongs to Styles. You mustn't take the risk. He needs to be taught a lesson. Now, you run along. You climb on up and get it if you know what's good for you. You guys smell law and order coming. See you later. Sheriff, I thought Kobe'd seen the last of his gunslingers, but apparently not. That young tramp over there is a dangerous troublemaker. Yes, sir, I heard about the shooting. I'm just going to check into it now. Well, whatever. I want this town to be rid of him. I gave him 24 hours to leave. Now, you see that he does. Oh, sure, Mr. Stiles, sure. I'll take care of it. Well, boy? Self-defense, Sheriff. That's right. It's the truth, Sheriff. There were half a dozen witnesses to us. Yeah, we all saw it. Why, what's wrong, Sheriff? Did your boss order you to arrest me? What do you mean by that? I was thinking um, that if Stiles is the boss of this town, he must be your boss as well. Isn't that right? I've had about enough of you. Ever since you came here, you just barely managed to stay this side of the law. And you're starting to overstep it. Now you've got a mount to ride. Ride him out of town, or I'll arrest you on a charge of vagrancy. Hey, hold on, Sheriff. Well, I'd be glad to hire the young gent. Whoa, hold your horses. The gent's working for me in my ranch. Took him on half an hour ago. You need a hand on your ranch? Well, I guess I do. That's right, Sheriff. And if you don't believe it, just watch. 
I'll take my $20 advance now. I have to get some things. Well, yeah, well, uh, I'll see what's funny. Come on. Funny, yeah. Sure, sneaky son of a... Huh? <laughs> Afternoon. This? Do you like this pattern, Miss Catherine? What? Oh, I'm in no hurry. Why don't you see to the gent there first, Sam? Uh, what can I do for you, sir? Serve the lady first. Hmm. The gent says... I said I, I wasn't I... in a hurry, Sam. <laughs> uh, the other customer tells me uh, she ain't in no hurry, mister. Well, neither am I. May I please serve you anyhow, sir? It's a wonderful set of teeth you got there, if I do say so. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll take a... I miss your service, sir. Box of 45 cartridges. Yes, sir, right away. Sam? Yes? But I... I'm awfully sorry, sir, but I've got every caliber cartridge except the kind you asked for, 45. <laughs> That's funny. Yes, yes, very funny. It's the first time it's ever happened. Mm-hmm. Now then, Miss Catherine. Perhaps you'll explain the reason for your behavior. Don't you come any closer, I'll... I think I'll have to teach you a lesson. You know what your problem is? Whoever raised you spoiled you rotten. No! No! no. Let me go! Oh, how dare you! You savage! Let me go! Say this... to answer to me. Don't let it bother you, Duffy. I'm just giving this filly here a lesson on how to behave with good manners. Put her down, I told you. Go on, Catherine, get on home. <laughs> you. Don't expect to get any thanks. The only reason that tramp hasn't left town is because of you, you brute. You're nothing but a coward hoping to stick another killer on Styles, right? Go on home, Catherine. You refuse to speak to me all these years, so why don't you forget just now? Let things go on like they did before. Hey, boss, I didn't quite get that. Well, nothing for you to start sweating over. Give me a bottle of whiskey, Sam. Yeah. I'm sure. going to need it. Duffy. Sheriff? That's right. And I'm enforcing it. Well, let's see you enforce what Styles wants. See you around, Sheriff. That is, if the boss allows. <laughs> Lemonos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good morning,
Well, now we ain't in company. If you want, you can ask me for an explanation. I don't talk to drunks. Hey, watch your tongue, boy. I'm your employer now. Are you sure you've got a ranch, or is it just another of your pipe dreams? Imagination, you call it, huh? Well, what do you call that? <laughs> is that really yours? Well, it ain't nothing now. Oh, there was a time when life was really worth living out here. Is Catherine your daughter? No. She's my brother's. Come on, let's go. now and then you can have a nap. He's a fatty. What's all this? <laughs> well, that's my true love. <laughs> it's a whiskey still. Whenever I get a little thirsty, I just light a hickory fire. There you are. <laughs> nice setup. Son of a gun. I'll bet you could keep the whole county crock with that thing. <laughs> She's really something. A definitely special. Built with my own two hands. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, how's the whiskey? Strong whiskey. Makes you feel good inside. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Come on. You're a try. It's good for you. Will you? This stuff, too, huh? Gee, Josephine, you really do carry on. Or you got me, and then you have to tie me, gag me, and hang me. What the devil drove you to this, anyhow? <laughs> it's for Catherine. I never knew a woman who liked a man that, that stank of horse shit. Forget it, Arizona. Bad mixture. Why is that? Because there's things that don't wash off with a bath, son. Not with the toughest scrubbing down. For example? The smell of a saddle bum. It ain't a good smell. People like you, wherever they go, there's bloodshed. People can change. No. You're the kind that'll never change. Yours will be a little big for me. No, my brother's. Well, he was more or less well, like you. He was shot. Well, hey, you're not going to tell me you're afraid to wear a dead man's clothes. Not in the least, but but I'd really prefer not to. Well, God knows why I want to be a good Samaritan. <laughs> so, that coat belonged to Catherine's father, hmm? And he died from a bullet in the heart. Yeah, that's right. Just over six years ago. In a proper gunfight, with him hard tied onto a bed, and I was accused of the murder. Who did kill him? Styles. I'm not a very finicky eater, but I can't eat this crap. Well, sure, I'd be a bit rancid, but it's good. It sticks to your bones. Mm. Hey, where are you going? See if I can get a rabbit. At least be something to eat. No way to sweat. This air whiskey smells so strong it even keeps the skunks away. <laughs> Damnation! What was that for? I just shot a rabbit.
See? Dang thing was drunk, I guess. I think, Duffy, mm. that you're an old rascal. Mm. No. You want to get your revenge, but you haven't got the guts. Mm. It's quite simple for you. <laughs> One fine day, a stranger blows into town, knows how to use a gun. You give him $20 and a chunk of rancid bacon, and you think that's wages for a hired gun. How do you know? He's really enjoying this meal up to now. Well, nobody's stopping him. Go on. Just what is it you're driving at? What your niece said. You want me to pull the chestnuts out of the fire for you, hmm? Mm. Three questions. First, Styles. What was his reason for killing your brother? Second, why did they accuse you? Third, why is Catherine marrying Styles? Oh, well, it's difficult to explain. Ike and me was partners with Styles. In a mine we had, a, a copper mine. Well, it was Ike who discovered the, the original vein. One night, there was an argument. The next morning, my brother was found dead. Damn if Styles himself didn't testify against me. Once he's hitched to Catherine, all the stocks in the company, the mine, the whole shebang will come under his control. And, of course, since there's evidence of deposits on the other spreads around Kobe, Stiles is buying off a murder and all the owners one by one. But Miss Catherine takes no stock in all this. It's a bunch of lies, according to her. She thinks Stiles is a regular gentleman. Get down! Son of a bitch. <laughs> Arizona, meet Daisy. Cover me. I'm going around the back. Right. You bastard, start talking. We just wanted to get back our horse and then kill us, right? Styles sent you, didn't he? It was Styles, wasn't it? Yes, right. All right, now listen. Give it here. 
Hold her still now. I'm beginning to like cattle almost as much as copper. Hold him. Hold on. More than 10,000 head will be wearing my brand by the end of the year. Fouled up good, didn't you? I don't know what the hell I paid you for. I never saw anyone so quick with a gun. There was nothing we could do. We didn't have a chance. You had a chance, though, Bill, didn't you? What'd you do to save your skin? Nothing. He wanted me to bring you a message. He said to tell you that the more men you try to throw at him, that's all the more corpses you'll be getting back. Great. Beautiful job. You, uh, wait right here. He's provoked you on purpose. And you're falling into his trap, Austin. He's already killed four of my men. So, four reasons for you to be as careful as possible. You want to have this mess cleared up in a hurry, the only way is to get a professional killer. My affairs, Nora, are settled alone. As I see fit. And you're hellbent on lowering yourself to his level. What do you suppose his life is worth anyhow? Two, three hundred dollars? You're worth millions. We're building a whole empire, Austin. This is between me and him. You should try to be a little more like me. And learn to push your feelings out of your mind. Like you'll be marrying someone else in a few more days. I feel hateful towards her, but still I, I go on it as if it's nothing. Good for you, Nora. Look, what do you want? You want to be stripped of all your land? You all want to be killed one by one? I think the time has come to fight fire with fire. The presence of Arizona here has thrown a more balance. Well, well, shake advantage of it. If we join forces and we stick together, this county can go back to being what it was before. Check our so. I sure do like the way you talk, Duffy. Here's to you, boy. Yeah, okay, it sounds good. Yeah. What if we do join forces? What kind of a match would we be for all those hired gunmen he's got? Well, I'll tell you what, it'll be one hell of a match for them. They ain't half so tough as you think. Well, this afternoon, Arizona and me, we picked off three of them. Boom, like that. belongs to Warren, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Come on now, let's have it. Why didn't Arizona put a bullet in you? I told you, boss. They wanted me to bring you the message. Yeah, you told me that. But I don't believe it. However, you're going to get one more chance. Your last. I'm going to have you take him a message from me. No thanks, friends. You can count me out. I just want to live and let live. Let live? Wake up, will you, Warren? Not one of us can be sure he'll see the next sun up due to Styles. Hell, what's the matter with you? Okay, you may be right, Duffy. But what have we done up to now? Put up with it. To my mind, it's better to go on that way, because all I want is peace. Not you, though, Duffy. All you want is revenge on Styles. And now that you've found someone to help you out... Hey, just a minute. One thing, Warren. No one found me. Let that be quite clear. Well, whatever, I'm leaving. Do what you feel like. But I won't be joining you. I'm sorry I was here, Duffy. I should never come. What the... Easy with it. 
Dials decides who dies. I know Mr. Towers by his reputation. And I know who you are, too. It's a pleasure to know you. We have a great moment here. Two professional and famous guns in one town. I'm sure it calls for a toast, but uh, milk's all I drink. Liquor ruins the reflexes. An unforgivable weakness in our business. You'll have to excuse me now, if you would, Mr. Towers. I'll be seeing you again real soon. He's one of the best shots there is, and he's real fast. They say he's almost as quick on the draw as me. Easy now. Not quite. Well, well, what do you know? Our friend is real slick finger. Oh, he's a tricky one. Must be the way he done laid out poor Hal like that. <laughs> well, being as you're so tricky and slick fingered, you sure he ain't one of them fairy boys? This here game is called Solitaire. Well, that don't matter to us. We like your company. Right, boys? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you like ours. Take your paws off me. What paws? Oh, you mean hand. You want to deal with a hand. I told you to take your paws off me. Oh, don't get sore. If you want, I'll deal. That was my milk you just knocked over. I think it was a clear case of self-defense. Anyone who doesn't agree? No. Fine. Since we're all in accord, we'll simply consider the case closed. <laughs> Oh, my, it's too lovely for words. Simply marvelous. Two or three fine little touches, and then it'll be perfect. You'll look stunning. Mm. Have Millie come by in the morning to get it, all right, Millie? Uh, certainly, Miss. Thank Catherine. you again. After you, Mrs. Six. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. Fire if you don't come out. Please don't. <gasps> You'd only ruin the curtains, so what's the point? Get out of here before I do shoot. Nope. I have to speak to you. It's for your own sake. You keep your distance. Haven't you any decency? <laughs> Catherine, don't marry Austin Stiles. When I count three, you better be gone. Okay, but count real slow, hmm? One. All Styles wants is to gain full control of the mining company. Two. He has a mistress, the widow Nora Stevens, the original owner of his ranch. They're working together to... Uh, three! You jackass of a girl. Why won't you listen to me? 
It was Styles who murdered your father. And now he's using you to get those stocks. And when he does, he'll throw you out on your ear. You know, you're a pretty girl, Catherine. You're very pretty. And very stubborn. Since you're so anxious to go through with the wedding, I've got a present for your future husband. Here, give it to Styles. Say it's from Arizona. You'll know what it means. Buenas tardes, señorita. He's gone out, Catherine. However, I'm sure he'll be home in a little while. Uh, please come in, won't you? Is something wrong? Is there any way I can help you? No, it's nothing important. I just wanted to speak to Austin. Uh, sit down, won't you? Uh, Widow Stevens... That sounds so formal. Come, call me Nora. Nora. I'm about to marry Austin. I suppose you've arranged for... <laughs> to be honest, I hadn't given it any thought at all. But now that you mention it, to me I realize I'll have to find some other arrangement. I admit that my living here may have given rise to certain gossip, but after all, I was once co-proprietor of this ranch, and Austin Stiles was no more than my late husband's foreman. That may have been so. But it's Austin who owns the property now. But of course, but the reason I'm here is the housekeeping, there's an awful lot of it. And he's far too busy to have to worry about making his bed. I'll make it for him. Oh, but you're still young. Before you become a maid, you better live it up a little. Our profession takes a lifetime to learn right, especially here in this enormous house. I'm quite sure that I'll manage. However, dear, if you like, I'd be willing to stay a while to begin with to help you adjust to your new surroundings. I know Austin would think it a good idea. Austin? You refer to him with great familiarity. Well, I've known him for many years. Uh, there he is now, I think. I didn't blast Let's do it again. This young gentleman tells some good stories. What else did he mention? He accused you of being intimate with Nora. Once and for all, you're beautifully innocent. But don't believe every rumor so blindly, Catherine. The people here in Kobe feed on gossip like vultures. Above all, concerning me. So what else? I brought something for you. From him. This man is not only a troublemaker. He's an extremely dangerous lunatic. Catherine, it's best if you move in here. I don't want to expose you to any senseless risks. No, Austin. I'd rather stay in town. No, you'll remain here until the wedding. But why? It's for your own good. I don't want that man to hurt you in any way. You let me handle this affair. You're still a child, and you've got a lot of things in life to learn yet. People hate me. They're jealous of my wealth and power. I want you in a safe place, here, with me. At times, it's necessary to put our personal feelings aside and let our problems be solved by someone who knows how. For example, say by a professional. That's just a small sample of what I can do. It's my business. Yes, you've certainly proven that. But you see, Mr. Towers, I like to train horses in my spare time. And the more you know horses, the more you tend to distrust your fellow man. Last night you shot three of my men in the saloon. I believe that sort of thing happens rather frequently here. The difference is that if you're brought down in a saloon or defending your home and property. And as for last night, well, I was provoked. No, I think you know me better than that, Mr. Towers. 
What's past is past, and I don't mope over it. I always look ahead. And in front of me now, I see something that worries me. A certain man recently arrived in town who could very well prove to be um, an unpleasant thorn in my side. Those three men you put in Boot Hill worked for me. Since I paid them to protect me, I am... I thought I might hire you in their place. I'd pay you $500. How about it? You found yourself the right man, Stiles. Only the price is $1,000. And worth it. You grasp the situation. Payable all in advance. Fame's much steadier. Tell me, Towers. Training horses wouldn't be your hobby, too, would it? No, Styles. No, mine is knowing men. That's why I wouldn't think of trusting you. find a preacher in this town. Nowhere. The last preacher Kobe had closed up shop because of a lack of customers and took off. Well, he's over to Darby now working as a croupier. Hey? Well, then, uh, who's going to marry Stiles to Catherine? Well, I suppose a circuit court judge, he comes here from Blacktown, performs a ceremony and takes home the same stage of burned him over. He's a real nice fellow, Judge Johnson, even if he does drink a little too much for my money. Yeah, well, if you say so. Hey, what the devil you want to know all that for? What ideas you got rolling around inside your head? None. Hey, have a drink. No, I don't want to commit suicide. Uh, go on, boy. It's the bestest medicine there is. <laughs> We'd better get the horses ready. It's nearly time. Morning, Arizona. Mind if I water my horse at your trough? Go ahead. Sorry we don't have any milk. So that uh, you could have a drink as well. But you have got whiskey. Stinks like hell. It's strange, you know. How we've run into each other in these parts. There's more work here, possibly. That's true. I've already found it. Hope it doesn't cross with mine. That's no problem between professionals like us. It's a pleasure to deal with civilized people. But uh, first I have an overdue errand to run. If you're willing to wait till then, I could meet you in town. I'll give you up until noon. Not a minute later, I've got my own errands to run. Noon then, and I'll be on time. Duffy, the horses, get a move on. Sure. Yeah, boom, yeah. boom. Yeah. Where's the bill after you? Oh, he come out. Oh, you're going to make it. We're all ready, boy. Ooh, oh, boy. The devil are all these ranchers doing here. They're part of my errand. Oh, oh, easy there, Mary Lou. You know Arizona, even she can tell us the big moment. After you. Okay, boys. Our turn today. Let's ride. You said it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.
Steve. The daily toilet is over, boys. Leave everything as it is. And drop your gun belts on the ground. Ah, let's plug them all and get it over. Just a minute. Duffy? Give me the jug. Hmm. I didn't mean nothing. Oh, don't worry. We're not going to hurt you any. Hell, we're going to throw you a lovely party to remember us by. Right, Duffy? Come on down. <laughs> You can leave. There's a horse already for you around the back of the house. Oh, there is, is there? Is this a new idea of Mr. Stiles? Mr. Stiles doesn't know anything. Now get out of here while you can. Explain that. Don't ask questions. There isn't time. And anyway, you couldn't understand. All I can ever tell you is that... No, never mind. You'd better get out of here, Kathy. And fast. Believe me. Slavery to Styles. clear out of here now. I have to speak to him. Get him out of my sight. Come on, Cassidy. Towers? 
get your errand done, Arizona? You need my job? <laughs> I guess not. You look a little stretched out. And you? Have you begun your job yet? No, not yet. However, I'm just about to finish it. I'm real sorry about this, Arizona. <laughs> How come, Towers? Hmm? You know very well what I mean. I've been paid a thousand dollars. So? So I have to earn that thousand dollars. That's true, but I don't like to have to kill. That may well be. However, in our profession, there's no turning back. Not even when it's what we most want to do. Anyway, I've always been curious as to which of us is faster. Legal, I saw the whole thing. Towers here provoked you. And anyway, he was a killer to begin with. He was a menace, a menace to law and order. This man was a much better man than you are. A star doesn't make a man. I'll take him to your boss and tell him it's Arizona's last present. Law and order. Nesters have formed a vigilantes committee. They're tearing down all our fences and they wrecked every building you own in town. There's no stopping them. Those sheep are actually making war on us. <laughs> I don't believe it. Yes, sir, and that ain't all. They're a bunch of Arizona along. And he gunned down towers, too. Arizona killed up. Yeah. <laughs> I'll shoot every one of them. Oh, well, this is the doggone whiskey you ever saw. Whoopee! <laughs> Who did this, Arizona? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was who it was, yeah. Good old Arizona. Oh, boy, a party you threw. And it was somewhere. Well, I don't remember. He said, you want a little present? Here. <laughs> Catherine. Where is she? It's no use looking, Austin. Catherine's gone. She's gone. Just what the hell does that mean, Nora? Answer me. Catherine is on her way home. I helped her to escape. You. You helped her get away. Why? You want to know why? Because you're jealous. You who's so good at controlling your feelings. <gasps> right, go and kill me if you want to. But I couldn't accept that woman living in this house. Our whole world is crumbling around us. All of it. And it's our fault, Nora. Yours and mine. Oh, 
Go out and try there. Styles. Woo. For God's sake, please have mercy on me. I'm on your side, Mr. Styles. I've been with you all along. I told him not to try it. I told him it was crazy. But I stood with you, I swear. I've been with you all along. I've been with you all along. All right, let's go. I believe we have visitors. I wonder who that is. Beats me. Now that beats all. Must have come to make peace. Yeah. With a rifle? That would be. We got them right where we want them. They'll never get away. Are you quite certain they'll come? Styles, his type are all alike. They all behave the same way. You better leave now. No. Well, I'll let your uncle force you to, since I can't. I'll only come back, so don't waste your time. Have you thought about the price of staying? It doesn't matter. You're the stubbornest gal I ever met. Feels a little strange, doesn't it? Come on in. Come on in. You'll never guess what I've been thinking about, Arizona. If you join me here, this old ranch could become the richest in the whole county. We could buy ourselves some real good beef stock in a couple of years. Well, I mean, only after you and Catherine. Uh, you follow me, don't you? Here, why don't you take this? It's loaded. Now, can't you forget about guns for a second? Yeah, once I forgot. And boy, I paid for it. If you stuff yourself, you won't be able to, to run. So you think I'm so unbearable that you'd rather have a horse keep a company, is that it? I came here to put a saddle on her. I want you to leave. Yes, you told me that, I know. But don't force me to leave, will you? If you give me the chance, I'll show you that I can act 23 and not like a two-year-old. Well, that was quite a quick change. I'll never understand women. <laughs> hey, Arizona. Look. I want to speak to you, and to Catherine, too. All right. These are all the stocks in the mining company. And this money here is for you. It's all I could get my hands on. Don't take that money, Arizona. Lady, you really think that this is going to make us forget all the harm you've done here? Every cent of that has got blood on it, lady. I don't want to see it. All this? In exchange for what? Get out of here. Austin is on his way over with all his men to fight it out. And I don't... I love Austin. I don't want him to die. Yes, Catherine, I love him. Well, how I'm moving. I'm about ready to break up. I feel so sorry for you. As if you had nothing to do with anything. Ever since the first day Styles set foot in your house eight years ago, this county's seen nothing but killing. Yeah, you sure love Styles, all right. 
Enough to murder your husband. Look, I beg you. Please take the stocks and cash and get out of here. Voi mi chiedete di lasciare la mia casa? E sbagliate, signora. Siete voi che dovete andarvene. There's something I feel you should know. I came here with the intention of killing Mr. Stiles. I even had a special gold bullet for him. He was to die the same death as someone whose death he caused. A certain Daniel Hughes. But now that, that doesn't matter anymore. Styles is finished. Get me back the bullet now. I'll use it as a lucky piece. But don't ask me for more. I'm sorry, but it's too late now. Duffy, in the other room. Yes, sir, General Washington. Now, Lee, come on, I'll cover you. trying to burn my house down on me. Who the devil they think they are? Oh, I've got a good mind to... Hey, what are you going to do with that? That's your post. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Time to get intimate with each other. Don't just sit there. Now! Hey. Looky here, boy. We just got a special delivery. <laughs> Return to sender. Yeah, address unknown. you can do now. Trap, Styles. You hear me? I'm waiting for you.
more style. What's wrong, Duffy? Oh, nothing. Thanks to them dad burned pole cats, I got no more to story. Well, we just had to give up drinking. I'm trying not to forget the plans you've made. I want to see you make this ranch the best in the whole county. You won't change your mind, then, huh? You're sure you don't want to stay here on the ranch with us? If ever I learn to wash off the smell of a saddle bum, don't worry. I'll be back. That's a promise. Goodbye, Catherine. Goodbye. So long, Duffy. You sure? Ah. Blast it all. Good for nothing. I know why he's going. I just didn't like my whiskey. Thank you.